Australia's relationship with China is a mess. Not long ago, we were having cosy chats with Chinese leader Xi Jinping. And I remember sitting with him in front of the fire at the lodge because it was June. Those conversations began with uh, discussions about family. But today, he won't even answer our phone calls. Australia is open to dialogue. We urge you to equally come to the table. In just a few decades, China has transformed itself from a nation of peasants to an economic, military and technology superpower presided over by Xi Jinping, the most powerful leader since Chairman Mao. He sees himself as a man of destiny. And since Xi took over, China has become much less tolerant of criticism. They've even bullied all Australian news outlets out of the country. I'll be honest, I did not want to leave China. And Australian politicians are even talking about war. Not a cyber war, but a real one. This is something that you and I may well have to confront in the next five to ten years. The relationship between China and Australia has nearly collapsed. It's hanging on by a thread. So, how did we get here? Well, the story is nothing short of incredible. Day after day of just the most extraordinary, jaw-dropping revelations. And I had never seen anything like this in my life. Now, why are you here? Guys, please, the war is coming. They're paying a price for me to tell the truth. The ladder of escalation could result in a horrific Armageddon type conflict. I'm Matt Bevan and this is China If You're Listening, a podcast about how the relationship between China and Australia has come to the verge of collapse. Episode one is coming on the 1st of June.